The Library of Alexandria, even its name whispers of lost worlds and ancient secrets. Imagine a place where knowledge was not just valued, but worshipped. A place where scrolls filled with the wisdom of civilizations past lined miles of shelves. This was Alexandria's library, a beacon of knowledge in the ancient world, and its story is one of ambition, scholarship and ultimately tragedy. The library was more than just a collection of books, it was a melting pot of ideas. It was a place where the greatest minds of the ancient world congregated. Philosophers debated the nature of reality. Mathematicians unraveled the secrets of the universe. Poets wove words into tapestries of emotion and thought. The library's story is intertwined with the Ptolemaic dynasty, the rulers of Egypt following Alexander the Great's death. It was Ptolemy the Fonsota, a general in Alexander's army, who envisioned a center of learning that would surpass all others. He founded the library in the third century BC, aiming to gather all the knowledge of the world under one roof. His successors shared his vision. Ptolemy II Philadelphus, in particular, is credited with expanding the library's collection aggressively. He sent envoys to every corner of the known world, acquiring texts on every conceivable subject. He even ordered that any scrolls found on ships docking in Alexandria be copied, the originals added to the library, and the copies given to the owners. The library was more than just a repository of knowledge. It was a vibrant centre of intellectual life. It housed a community of scholars who were provided with room, board and a salary, allowing them to devote themselves entirely to their studies. Among the most famous scholars associated with Alexandria were Euclid, the father of geometry, whose elements is still studied today. There was Archimedes, the brilliant inventor and mathematician, whose inventions were centuries ahead of their time. And we cannot forget Hypatia, the female mathematician and philosopher who headed the Neoplatonic school in Alexandria, a testament to the library's spirit of inclusivity in a male-dominated era. Their discoveries and writings, nurtured within the library's walls, pushed the boundaries of human knowledge and continue to inspire us today. Section 4. Scrolls, Papyri and the Pursuit of Knowledge The library's collection was as diverse as it was vast. It is estimated to have held hundreds of thousands of scrolls, written in numerous languages and covering a wide array of subjects. From philosophy and poetry to mathematics, astronomy and medicine, the library housed a comprehensive record of ancient knowledge. The Ptolemies were relentless in their pursuit of knowledge. Legend has it that they even borrowed original manuscripts from Athens, promising to return them after making copies. However, driven by their desire to possess the most complete collection, the Ptolemies reportedly kept the originals, returning only the copies and paying hefty fines. Section 5, The Fall of a Legacy, Theories and Speculations. The circumstances surrounding the library's destruction remain shrouded in mystery and debate. Some believe it was a gradual decline, a slow burn, rather than a sudden inferno. With the decline of the Ptolemaic dynasty and the Roman conquest of Egypt, funding and interest in maintaining the library may have waned, leading to its slow decay. Others point to specific events, Julius Caesar's fire, set during his conquest of Alexandria, is often cited as a possible culprit. However, many argue it only damaged a portion of the library, not its entirety. Later incidents, such as religious conflicts and invasions, are also suggested as contributing factors. The truth, like the ashes of countless scrolls, is likely lost to time. The loss of the library of Alexandria represents an immeasurable blow to our collective human heritage a treasure trove of ancient wisdom gone forever. Section 6. Alexandria's Echo Through Time While the physical structure of the Library of Alexandria might lie in ruins, its legacy continues to resonate. It serves as a potent reminder of the power and fragility of knowledge. It stands as a testament to the human thirst for understanding and the enduring power of ideas. Though the scrolls may have turned to ash, their contents continue to echo through the works they inspire. Euclid's geometry, 
Archimedes' inventions and the philosophies debated within the library's walls all form the bedrock of our modern world. The library reminds us that knowledge, once unleashed, has a life of its own. Even today, the Library of Alexandria inspires us to seek knowledge, to build bridges of understanding, and to preserve our cultural heritage for generations to come. It reminds us that the pursuit of knowledge is a journey without end, and it is a journey we must all undertake together.